Why are African cichlids so addicting? Have you ever wondered why? Stay tuned to find out. Don't move. What is going on YouTube? This is Paul the Inventory King. Thanks for stopping by and joining me today on this video on why are African cichlids so addicting? So I've listed five reasons why. But before I get into that, African cichlids are so addicting. It's so true. You know, you can start with one tank and that'll evolve into two tanks which will evolve into three tanks, four tanks, five tanks, 10 tanks, 20 tanks, a fish room, more tanks than you could even know what to do with, but that's the fun of the hobby. And African cichlids are so addicting. So that is the topic of today's video. So number one on the list for why are African cichlids so addicting is going to be the color. So if you look here, you can see there's a lot of good color here in the 220 hap tank. You can see fish like the uh, tetrastigma with great red and green and blue and just all kinds of different colors. And then you got your strat rostratus with nice dark colors. Uh, another awesome fish is the Venustus. You got the blue face with the yellow blaze and yellow greenish body. Red fin borlei with all that red and blue. Lots and lots of color options when you keep African cichlids. Another one is going to be the star sapphire. The blue is pretty common, but those specks, those color those white and light blue specks is so unique and so awesome. You also got coloration patterns like fish with blazes. You got the uh, Z-Rock, which is a bluish purple body, dark body with that awesome yellow blaze. And then you also got fish like the Iceberg, who is not in the frame right now, but the Iceberg is another one that is blue and it's got a nice white blaze so when it comes to african cichlids you're definitely gonna love the coloration and that is why they are so addicting personality is number two these fish have awesome personalities and such interesting characters and it is never a dull moment when you are keeping African cichlids. So the personality is why African cichlids are so addicting. You know, you got fish who are trying to establish their dominance in a tank. Um, chasing everyone around and flexing and showing who's boss. You know, you got fish with different traits like... You got the, again, the Rostratus, the Malawi sand diver. They dive into the sand. And that is a very interesting personality. You can see the Tetrastigma right now sifting through the sand. A lot of fish will sift through the sand for food. It's very fun to watch and is an interesting personality trait. Then you got your fish like uh, one that I currently don't have. But the Aristochromus christii, the Malawi hawk, when they are hunting, they will go over their prey and turn sideways to scope out their prey. Such an interesting personality trait. So again, number two is going to be personality as to why African cichlids are so addicting. So number three on the list is going to be variety. We all know there's Lake Malawi African cichlids, Lake Tanganyikan African cichlids, and Lake Victoria African cichlids. Since I am a Lake Malawi guy, I'm going to stick with the Lake Malawi African cichlids. So variety. Let's start off with Imbuna. 
There are tons of Mbuna to choose from with different characters, different personalities, and different colors. So number one and two go right into number three, variety, when you keep Mbuna. I used to keep Demasoni and Yellow Labs, and it was a really fun tank to have. The blue and black of the Demasoni with the yellow of the Yellow Labs, it was the perfect union. It was the perfect uh, amount of color with all the rock work. It was a very enjoyable tank to have. There's a lot of other different types of Imbuna that you can keep with different colors and, uh, again, different personalities. So Imbuna, for sure, there's lots of variety. With Peacocks, you're in the same thing. Peacocks, there are variety there as well. You know, you're going to have your Jacob for Burgery eyes. You're going to have your Stuart Granties. You're going to have, uh, we all know there's some hybrid uh, peacocks as well. Um, not remembering all the names now, but you know, you got uh, fish like the Eureka Red Jake, the Lemon Jake, Sunshine, German Red, Turkis. Uh, they also have the Turquoise Peacock. You got the Sulphur Head Peacock. You got the Blue Orchid, um, Rubescens, Lawanda, Eure um, Albino Eureka, Albino Sunshine. Uh, these are just to name some with amazing colors, very interesting personalities as well. Some kind of just mind their own business and some are uh, there to show the others who's boss. And the ultimate, the king of variety is the Haps. There is so much variety with the Haps in Lake Malawi from colors, as you can see, as well as body shapes as you can see and they just and their personalities vary there's variety there uh, again number three is that variety and there is no shortage of variety when it comes to the haps of lake malawi so uh, let's jump on to number four number four is going to be challenge why are African cichlids so addicting? It's the challenge of keeping them. Keeping them takes research and it takes work, understanding and patience because uh, these fish, in my opinion, are more fragile. And if things are not as they should be water parameter wise, then the fish can get sick, you can have different diseases, um, that's one thing, then you also have aggression to deal with, um, if you're a breeder and they're not breeding, that's another issue, so there's challenges when keeping African cichlids, but it's what makes the hobby addicting, because it's never a dull moment, it's always a challenge, but it's a fun challenge. So that is number four, guys. And number five is going to be joy. The joy of keeping African cichlids is why they are so addicting. It is one of the funnest and most joyous hobbies I have ever been in. And I'm so glad that I did. It's an expensive hobby for sure. But... It is so worth it. These fish bring so much joy. Um, when you walk into a room and you see a fish that was just being normal, and then when you get back home, they're just fired up. That brings joy. Uh, when your fish breed, that brings joy. When you're able to share knowledge about these fish, you know, things like that, it brings joy. So... Number five is going to be joy. So again, a rundown. We got color, personality, variety, challenge, and joy. This is why African cichlids are so addicting. 
Like you guys know how I do it in those comments down below. Leave five reasons why African cichlids are so addicting. Please subscribe, share, like, and stay tanked.